Welcome back to Let's Play Viva Pinata. Well, we still have a couple little things we can do without waiting for other pinatas to do things for us. We need three moth drops, actually. Okay, well, in that case, let's actually have Gretchen get us some moth drops. I don't want to get a house and breed them. Hey, got some work for me? Starting to get itchy feet here. And they're super cheap. Keep our money is slowly withering away. That is something to be wary of, but it's, it's mostly okay for the time being. I think we can still get through the rest of the game with the money we have, probably. Unless we do something stupid or extravagant. Anyways, what else did I want to do? I was discussing such things just a moment ago. So one thing I want to do is get watchlings. These guys cost a decent amount. Shut up. You. Okay. So, whether I get... So, I don't know if watch, day and night watchlings both have their own achievements or not. It doesn't look like it. And they do the same thing, they're just different colors and... They do it at different times of day. We only have ten achievements left. One pinata, I'll do that later. I need to name a helper. Whoops. Never did. Who's number one? I don't know why I get to name my workers, but... <laughs> ah! 41 achievements now. We're closing in on the last of the achievements. I don't know if you get an achievement for having made all Pinata's resident or anything like that. I don't know, it would make sense. I feel like you should. But we'll see. Also, I wanted to sell the, that third Salamango. I'll do that eventually, I guess. These guys have some interesting ways of utilizing their space. We won't see that watch thing until later. Why are you going home? Why? You have a house. Why don't they do this? Wait, doing like four. Four? Wait. I sent three home. I fired three. Yeah, okay, never mind. Let's get these for a moment. Why didn't Dan go home? Dan! <laughs> Jerk. Needs to wear a t-shirt that just says jerk on it. Okay. In that case, I'm still kind of waiting for... A Galagoogoo or... A Sherbat tonight. I'll get at least one more moth drop too. I might need... That'd be a good idea to get... Here you go. Two more... Gresham is a really nice inclusion in this game, though. I do appreciate it. It takes her so long to catch some pinatas, unfortunately, but... I think they definitely put some effort into balancing it well. How much her services cost, for one, but not having to always try to... revamp your entire garden. Hello! Revamp your entire garden just for... the sake of attracting one pinata is nice. So what do I need for that guy to actually come in here and become a resident? Three moth drops and needs to eat two of them. I have... So the thing is, I have three moth drops right now. But if it eats one, there won't be three anymore. So I should really only need four moth drops. Because once it eats the second one, there won't be three moth drops anymore, but it'll, in theory, become a resident after that anyways. It's like Alagoogoo. Some pinatas, the way their houses are shaped, get so small. Oh, hello. Awesome. I think at one point I actually had a 
sure about that or headphones though just as a reference to it attacking with headphones for some reason I don't know how people come up with what these things wear or what they attack with rather in some cases it makes sense but only some okay that's okay it says it should be And I will immediately put another monster well, up in front of you. Morning. You'd better look after. I will look after it great, I assure you. They will have a wonderful Keep life. You... We'll have the best time here. So I still have three monster traps here, so this guy will hopefully do as he's supposed to, but there's no guarantee. Yes! Okay, so you need to eat four tulips. How many do I have? Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Might need one more. Or more. It took me a while. And the Galagoo that didn't want to acknowledge me having a Galagoo over here for some reason. I think that, um, Sherbet just ran off. The pinatas in this game. Sail. I don't know what determines sales. It's just like every few days? Or something? Like if this game actually had days of the week, that would make sense. Oh no, something else is eating my last drop, so darn it. Oh jeez, we're getting a all guys are getting in moth drop massacre over here. Oh, I need to have a groundskeeper. Oh well. <laughs> it's convenient. I guess I need to have this guy here anyways. Hey watchling. So what they do is they scare off pinatas. Oh, you need to eat that. Experiment. You need that. Yeah, though, so I wanted to take a quick look at what those watchlings do. What does the description say? I can also look on the wiki later if I have to. Wait a minute. Are you telling me that this is taking up space in my garden? The clothes take up space? That didn't occur to me before. The fact that I was seeing this here. I was seeing clothes in the garden space. It's interesting. Unlocum guess. So the, uh, does that include then ruffians and the like? I actually want to look this up right now. So I'm going to do that real quick. And I don't want to leave things unattended right now. Oops, that's not what I need to do at all. Uh, I pressed the wrong thing on my computer. But, so what I'll do right now is I'll go on the wikia. And normally I would actually have the game running as I do this. I would have things happening in game, but. Uh, there are some things going on that I don't want to let happen without me watching them. Watchling. I'm searching watchling. And it's not coming up in the search bar. Okay, they don't have their own page. Watchling. Okay. They'll keep sours and ruffians away. 3 a.m. to 3 p.m. Yeah, so a normal watching is 3 a.m. to 3 p.m. A night watching is from 3 p.m. to 3 a.m. Yes, yeah, so they all have different hours, but basically, you, in theory, you'll always have somebody watching your garden if you have a night watching and a day watching. I don't know how true that really is because I don't know when they precisely come out and go back in, taking into account the commute to and from your garden. Um. Oh, huh. Seeing them home for a day will make them happy. Some um, workers will actually become unhappy to them home. Watering them. Oh, watering a normal watchling will make them happy. Watering a night watching will make them unhappy. Huh. When two watchlings and night watchlings pass each other, they start talking to each other. Really? So, I guess ruffians would also include pesky though. Yeah, so I might actually have... And for the time being, I need to have that guy here. But... 
So he probably needs to eat multiple moth drops, that guy. But this guy should... Yes, yeah, so this guy's good. So this one probably needs to eat multiple moth drops, unfortunately. So I need to get more moth drops. I suspect. Well, this guy glows. And there's another Galagoogo. I think I only have one moth drop left now, though. But they haven't eaten any tulips yet, though, I don't think. And it's daytime, so they're gonna run away. Why is this one? This one just came out and then went away. Awesome. So are you a resident yet? You aren't. Um, no, you aren't. You can't become a resident up there. What are you doing? Salma. Salminga needs to get out, too. You better not fly out of the garden right now. That's weird. Oh, there you go. It wasn't snapping to him. The cursor saw him, but it wasn't snapping to him for some reason. So I might have a day and a night watch thing both here. I'm not sure. There is a buzzing here. Alright, this guy just needs to eat a tulip, so... You're gonna eat the tulips that those other guys aren't eating. In that case. Do I need more Kandarius? How many Kandarius do I have right now? And how many do I need? Kinda forgot. So I have six Kandarius. I need to have five for a Buzzinch to visit. I wonder if I can get a Master Romance Award for Kandarius without actually breeding them at all, just by having seven in the garden. I don't know how that works exactly mechanically. I already have the award, so I can't try it out. I have to eat three, so it'd be good to have seven Kandarius. At least. So I'll leave that one there. I'll leave the buttercups here and I'll get another Kandaria as soon as I can. Um, the thing is, Kandarius that are going to get eaten. I really don't know if I should actually be giving them stuff to wear. Because they'll just get killed by the Buzzinj. So I might not worry about that just yet. I believe you just lose the accessories any pinatas are wearing when they get eaten, so I don't want to waste much money. I should try to be a little bit more frugal right now since we can see that our money is going down quite quickly. This guy actually had not gone to his cocoon this whole time. I was wondering about that when he looked so small on the path. How is this dude only just got into his cocoon? Jeez. Anyways, I was thinking of putting the house over here maybe? I would like to listen to her voice acting, but the thing is that I need to actually keep an eye on what's where. As Pinata's get eaten. I don't know if I really want to try to get a Kandari. Oh, is, do you just fly away anyways? It's hard to tell when does actually fly away. I don't have any mech raccoons. You just flew away anyways. Okay. Good visit. game. Actually, we are about out of time, aren't we? Yeah, we are out of time. Okay, I should... I guess next episode... A little bit more money. Nice. Next episode, I will... put down the... house for this guy, the Sherbat. I guess I'll get another Kandiri, too. Nice. And things will progress from there. Things are going a little bit slow because certain pinatas aren't doing what they need to be doing. Also, I haven't seen much coming from this... Mine in a while for some reason. It's kind of weird. I only got rid of one worker. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time. I saw this thing bouncing like an egg for some reason. Unless it just fell, I might have just fallen from the tree. Yes, we have things to keep track of and manage right now. Plenty. And still plenty of pinatas to attract here and make resonance and all that and breed. So I'll see you guys next time next episode. Let's play Viva Pinata. We're making progress. And we, in some ways, made more progress than I expected to in the last five episodes. Namely, a certain thing with that mine. That happened a lot more quickly than I thought it would. But hey, a lot better than having it more slowly than I thought it would. So all the better. Anyways. Mwah. I'm tired. It's, I'm actually recording this fairly early in the morning.
Anyways. Come back, everyone. Getting closer, but still... Still stuff to do. Just one day we'll finish. Why are there so many tap flies and flying right at me? 